Well, it's been quite a while since we've had a video from Red Barns. I've been spending most of my video time on my uh, Big Wheels turning site uh, on rebuilding this old 88 uh, Honda Elite 250 scooter that was involved in a wreck and getting that all put back together now. And uh, But this winter has been really cold and nasty. I mean, somebody's... <laughs> you can tell it's, it's one of the very early sunny days in this year so far here in this extremely wet and cold spring we've had up here in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, I'm going to be riding my motorcycle tomorrow on Easter Sunday, so uh, it's supposed to be nice and maybe even 60 degrees, which I think we've had one 60 degree day in the last 160 days maybe now. I know last month we had... Uh, I think it was three days, four days that didn't rain. So, but this is another uh, tank test, and for those observants, you'll see that uh, I made a hat. It's even got the I'm trying to decide whether or not there's any demand for these things to uh, make more. Right now, it's a one of a kind. So, we're going to be doing a tank test today, and I got a couple new candidates, and the. Uh, I know the uh, Flathead Drifter uh, PDF. This is this is what you'll get uh, on the uh, download, the model, the build, and it's got the bulkhead and everything in it. And then I've got another one. It's a uh, SUP, and the one that I will be tank testing is an earlier version with it has a little bit of a uh, angle to the bow. And I discovered while I was making the drawings that if I got rid of the angle on the bow and just had a plumb bow on it, uh, I didn't. I could go with a full sheet and a half sheet of plywood, so it'd be 12 feet long exactly on these side panels. And you'd make a pacing joint to put them together, and not a uh, scarf of any kind. So let me get my uh, stuff that's blowing away in the wind, and we'll set up for the tank test. Well, it's in the tank and moving around and it's just barely it's got such a wide bottom when I designed this one a lot of times it's 14 foot about 14 feet 3 inches maybe a little longer maybe 14 and a half uh, I designed it I didn't want to make the bottom any wider than a sheet of plywood so it's got a 48 inch wide bottom at yeah, reach in front of you here at the beam the beam line right here is the full width of the uh, plywood so you don't have to scarf 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 uh, fore and aft it's just uh, a scarf in in the to join the two panels together and there's enough left over on the bottom panel uh, uh, to cut out the uh, transom and the bow panels so right now the hull as it sets here looking at it is using uh, four sheets of of uh, nine millimeter we'll go with the bigger heavier boat we'll go with nine millimeter which would be three eighths inch plywood and then uh, in my drawings I'm showing I'm showing a scarf joint for the total length of the panels but uh, most everything else I would use the uh, the two inch finger joint on that's such an easier joint to construct and uh, it's a nice strong joint too I've hadn't had any problems with that one so that's that so you can see it's God, it's only maybe a couple inches in and it's there's only one two three four five six there's only six feet of hull in the water right now everything else is above and that was the other thing I wanted to find out too today uh, when I was doing the drawings, I had an artificial water line uh, installed, and I wanted to make sure that the boat, you know, was setting the way I thought it would. And so now I will be able to uh, go back and do that. So let's. Uh, it's time to get out the Canadians, and let's see. The other thing too on this on a hole like this is do. You, uh, it's a drift boat. 
Now, I've got in the drawings two different ways. You can be rowing facing that way, or you can be rowing facing downstream. So, uh, you're facing aft, it's going to be a lake boat, but then I've got my, my nuthatch prams, which would be a, a better boat for that, or any of the, the fishing boat or the fly fishing boats like the, uh, the Nymph and the Flycaster and the HSP. Uh, so, this would be more along the drift boat lines like the uh, sold up drifter. And, uh, but that one was only 11 feet, and this one's the bigger brother. The Soldek uh, model sits inside of this thing and gets swallowed up. So I'm trying to decide that probably about in here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, right in there is going to be the middle. We'll sit one guy in there. And you can see it didn't didn't make much. Hardly did anything. So that would be in a position facing forward. Let's move him around a little bit more and see if it. Okay, I'm moving him forward. So this would be a facing aft uh, rowing position in the middle of the hull. Yeah, more or less the middle of the oarlocks. It'd be about in here someplace. So. Let's make this a guide boat. We'll put him back here and put his Hollywood uh, client up front here, going down some Montana River. Uh, what do we got? We sunk into the water. Uh, what do we got? Okay. We added about a, a foot more water line. So, let's make a party boat and put in five people. That's a lot of weight, but still the ends are out of the water. So I'm happy. I'm real happy. Let's go back to a normal guide and... Uh, a rowing person and swing the swinging around here so yeah you can get a little different okay we're we're heading down the uh, Yellowstone okay okay some big water. Okay. He's, he's taking it good. Okay, let's go uh, with the what. Okay, got the what in the water. And it's sitting right sitting right on the chine line. Right there. It's sitting right on the edge of the uh, side panel where it meets the bottom panel. So and it's balancing out flat. Now this is a 12 foot boat with a 30 inch beam where you would stand this 30 inches. And it's like a good design canoe. The uh, widest part is at about 60% from the bow. It's about 60-40 where the white spot is. I like to try to maintain that efficiency. Oh. Let's stick our 250 pound person on it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right about where I thought it would be. Okay, didn't really make much difference. So. Yeah. Now you won't have the, uh, the point. You can see that one line up on the bow. It'll be plum bob or plum bow right at that line. So, okay. Yep, surf's up. Okay, I'm happy. You can see the bow coming around, plumb bob, or plumb bow. Uh, 
this one will probably be, I don't know, uh, I got probably another couple weeks to do work on the um, uh, flathead drifter, and then the plans will be out for it, and then uh, the what. I was calling it the erect paddle craft, the EPD, or EPC, like the uh, electric paddle craft, but then I got to thinking, you know, like, <laughs> Why not call it something crazy to make it memorable? Memorable, so I call it a what? And it's a what SUP. So it's a what's up. Or AKA the K Pasa. So if you can't have fun doing something, don't do it at all, right? I shall see you guys later.